Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Undrafted to MVP, the story of the new Tony Romo winning his job back in Dallas from Dak and then going on to be MVP of the NFL. So last week we started off quite poorly, well, last week we started off quite well, I think considering we're only, six, we're only 66 overall to start, went up to 67. But, uh, you know, it's going to take a lot of work to get that starting place from Dak and then get into the big games themselves. But preseason, he's going OK. One pick and a couple of touchdown passes will take that at this stage. So in this week, we're going to get into some training, obviously. And then we'll be going into our two preseason games that remain. Um, obviously, the starters play three quarters of the game uh, in week three of preseason. So we'll only get a quarter of the match there. Then I believe we get three quarters of the fourth game as well. So all in all, full game, but you know, there'll be some ups and downs, I'm sure. But let's get into it. So training, first snap, and uh, looking for those crosses on the slant, and we get Hearns. And then second play, we just hit Elliot straight out the backfield. No point trying to force it. And then the third play, well, it's a new thing being sacked. Fourth play, same thing again. Our linemen just can't seem to stay on the mat. We uh, get the completion on the third, well, we get a third completion on the final play to earn ourselves a silver medal. So let's get into the game against the Cardinals. I mean, it's another prime time matchup into Sunday, Sunday Night Football, isn't it? On EA Sports. We'll Coming see, up, see. Arizona Cardinals, led by their new quarterback Sam Bradford, take on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. I'll join you again at halftime like to look at some of these stats cool. and scores from earlier this afternoon. But for now, it's yeah, Sunday Night Football. Stadium. And on the call, as always, Brandon God. We get it. Home game Davis. for us, but Sports coverage of the NFL these Cardinals aren't going to be an easy pushover, especially as it's all back up versus backups. It's going to be all about me. So not me. It's going to be all about Tony Romo and what he can do to win this game. It is Sunday primetime. It is Sunday primetime. So as always, our first... Part of the match is usually an extra point. Dan Bailey now for the extra goal point. of some sort because we are the holder. Means that Dak has managed to lead the team to a touchdown. Surprising for some. We are tied at seven. Cowboys will turn Again, we're out for a field goal this time. And that is good again, Dan Bailey from Bailey 48. And for the second time we come back out on the field for another fourth down. Here. From this time, 53 yards, Dan Bailey never has a problem from and that sort of distance. There's me, there's Tony Rowe celebrating for so getting a good hold down. Third goal goal of the night, and the game is good. Just 41 yards that time, so, you know, making progress and uh, keeping our team up so we're finally in the game with seven and a half minutes to play on the fourth quarter we hit Tavon Austin out of the backfield for a short game just to get ourselves into a bit of a rhythm second play yep that's the usual thing linemen linebackers running through our substitute offensive line bringing down for a sack Romo for a we hit Gallup, he breaks the tackle and then ends up behind the line of scrimmage, so uh, sorry, the line's again, we have a punt, but uh, another sack on the first play of our next drive. Sack the game, two sacks in a row, always good. Third, third down play, third and 20, we hit Jambrin. First down and much more. About 40 yards there on the pass or so. So uh, first and ten, we go to gathers. Tight ends are really becoming a bit of a um, favourite for me to target. Second down and five. We throw a perfect pass to the corner there. 
for, well, it's the Gellers again for another huge game for us. They get Jandrin, that's right. And uh, we're into, down to the five yard line, hitting Gallup on the slant touchdown. Cowboys, we, we take the lead there. I oh, know we're already in the lead, but we come back on the next drive, a quick uh, inside zone to table and Austin. Oh, up there. He never really goes for much, but Rod Smith comes in, power his way for a first down, so it takes some time for the clock. And again, we give it to Rod Smith, and two runs, two first downs, and about 20 yards for Smith, so why wasn't he uh, involved more earlier on? Drop back again, we hit Olawale that and it's got over uh, the middle. He goes for a first down, running over the linebacker, exactly what we want to see. Smith again, only gets two yards, but yeah, he's, he's been pretty solid for the few plays that he's had. Olawale again for a first down over the middle. And we kneel out the game to win 31 to 28. So as I say, not a lot on there. But uh, we do a get the win. No doubt about that in this one, Charles. Carlos, head coach, not, not happy. Michael Gallup, the perfect catch over the middle. Fun, wasn't it? I'm not sure who that is. I'm uh, afraid to under 85. But that's Gallup's corner shot that I threw to him. That's what we like to see. So they had more passing yards on the night. We had more rushing yards. But not many since when I took over in the fourth quarter. But we win 31. 28, so good results. Good results there. Quick look at the stats now. You know, do you expect the two starting quarterbacks to have quite a lot? But uh, you know, Dak, not as much as you, not as much as I would have hoped against a Cardinals defense that hasn't really been that good this year. And Josh Rosen with a touchdown pass as well. That, that he didn't play particularly well. He had 23 yards. Passing, so uh, that's obviously game three. So let's have a quick look at the stats and 107 passing yards. I mean, that's not too bad, really. And a touchdown. Um, played at least, well, I think at 18 down. It's not a lot, particularly, but I don't see why we didn't get the uh, no turnovers. We, we held on to it, we didn't fumble it, we didn't. For an interception, so a bit unfair really. But we go into the next week and we go into some training. It's slants again. Oh no, it's not. Oh, it looked like it was, well, it was a slant from the inside guy, but we're sacked anyway. And uh, right. yes. Alan Hearns wide open. It's always nice to be able to, um, oh, Wilson there, and uh, it was nice to play with the first team because they actually almost guarantee me um, full protection. But we get Beasley there and another first down. We get silver again, four out of five. But uh, I'd rather keep getting silver than keep getting bronze. So we'll carry on with that. So we can upgrade ourselves again. Tony Romo getting better. I mean, strong arm is obviously what we're suited to, and so that's what I'm going to take, but I will use some field general ones as well, because obviously um, we do need to up our throwing stats, especially short and medium. I do like to throw the ball short. Um, but, you know, throw power 90, deep accuracy 80, you know, that's, that's always good. Um, but really, there's not a lot else we can, we can upgrade in terms of uh, deep passing, I think we've got we've got the attributes for that. Uh, just be a case of maybe having a bit of a scrambler, a bit of field general in there, just to make myself a bit more, or just to make Tony a bit more mobile and able to throw on the run. So now we have the Texans at NRG Stadium. Again. It's the coach. This is Madden Please. NFL 19 on EA Sports. Coming up, Ezekiel Elliott. Fresh off 100 yards a week ago, as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the we Houston Texans. We are away at the Texans. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. This is where the Colts came in and dominated the weekend. And on the call, so, uh, as always, hope that them Cowboys can as well. 
and we are introduced for a field goal in the first quarter. The Cowboys will turn it over now to Dan way, so. Bailey for the field goal try. Dan Bailey from the right hash here should be an easy one. There's no, I, I don't even doubt that Dan Bailey's going to make this. He's definitely not going to make it. No, we're, nothing really there on the run that time. Go to play action. And uh, we hit Gallup out of that field. Ooh, lovely little spin. Yeah, cut up field it made a bit sharper. Could have got another 10 yards, but I'll take that. The first throw goes for 40 odd yards. Boston there. If he just put his head down and run north south, he could have got a lot more yards there, but he does get 10 and the first, so it's all good. Romo drops back and uh, gets sacked. I think it was actually uh, well, a big man. Big man in my face. In Romo's face. Yeah, Olawali over the, over the middle and he is hit hard. He's a big guy as well, so that's, that takes a lot to smack him like that. Gallup stops short, so I think we're going to go for it. Yep, we're going to go for it, and we hit Thompson on the first down. No point kicking field goals, and I'm going to be the holder. And that is Wilson. He could have had a, could have had a touchdown a lot sooner than what he has now. He has just uh, kept on his feet, but we do score, and that makes it 9 or 10 to 9. And then all the extra points. 13, 10 down, and Roll out of the pocket. A wide receiver there. I think that was Wilson or Thompson there on the crossing route. We then hit Gathers underneath. A couple of yards. So, yeah. I was really lucky not to throw a pick there because that was a dangerous pass. And we hit Gallup and he apparently fumbled. Then I actually think that should have been incomplete rather than. Uh, I would agree with that totally. Rather than a fumble, but uh, we try to escape the pocket and make a run for it, but we go nowhere. We drop back this time, and there's Jan Brin over the middle, wide open. They sent a blitz. We picked it up, so we're quite lucky there. 10 of 11, we're only 31 yards, not bad. And uh, I'm stripped of the ball there. I don't know who that guy is, but just getting in number 94. And then, sack again. Again. This time it's, uh, I don't know, Cole, I think, number 51 for the Texans. And then, we just got a bit of room to uh, change the position. We punted and we get the ball back. Still only 13 to send down. But uh, Austin can't really get anything on the ground. He never really can. Bruce Small is more of a wide receiver. So he gets first down on the pass. Or we throw over the middle to Thompson. Another good completion. And, uh, I think the man coverage that the Texans are trying to run there is uh, not that great. And we, we split the zone there. Yeah. Find a hole in the zone. Gathers. Go deep into the middle of the end zone. It's uh, broken up before we drop back. And, well, we could have hit Gathers there for a bit of touchdown, but hit Thompson instead. Playing it, playing it safe. And that's another one that could have been picked. Probably should have been picked. That would have been a pick six if that had been uh, there. Yeah, but Smith, after the field goal, stopped on the one yard line. Haven't been sacked in the end zone, so that's always a good start. Jan Brin, yeah, the first down. Austin, two yards, four yards there on the first down. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that is my prime Tony Romo spot um, for the play, can I say? And uh, that really caused us some problems, gave it to them on the 29 yard line. We're sacked on our next play. 20 to 13 at this point, and uh, Jan Brim as well, holding on to the ball. Third and four, we uh, find Gallup, who pops on well. Like, that was a tough catch, so two guys hit to give as he was catching that. And that is JJ White in the backfield, that's not what we want to see. Thought this was the backup to play, not the freaking starting defensive line, he's an all pro. But Michael Gallup gets the ball on second and 20, you know, he's never going anywhere, he needs to get to the outside on that one. But, uh, yeah, that is number 94 again. Another sack. 
which means so we punt it, we get the ball back. Houston still haven't scored, uh, other than from the turnover that I agree. So, um, it's not too bad. We go for 10 yards, but it's second and inches. And yeah, Greaves comes up and kicks that off. That pass should have floated it rather than zinged it in there, because he's always looking back at me. Receiver hadn't actually got out there, but that's a good catch. That's a really good catch. Breaks the sack, but then takes him down again. And guess who it is? It's number 94 again. Second and 14. Roll out the pocket. Uh, we're going to take about uh, three yards because you know, we've got no speed, no stamina once you roll out. So, and then uh, step up and it's that man again. It's JJ Watt in there again doing the salute to say, get out of my house. We hit Gallup over the middle there, and it's not enough for a first down, and we lose that game. We lost that game because I threw that pick. You know, if, we hadn't, if I hadn't thrown that pick, we wouldn't have lost that game, and so that's a little bit frustrating. So uh, looking at the stats, I mean, 81.4% complete, you know, 22 of 27, yeah, 276 yards, a touchdown and a pick. Touchdown and two picks, should I say. One costly one. Joe Webb, uh, 10 of 20. Not particularly good. He did throw for two touchdowns and no uh, no picks, but uh, only 124 yards and 10 completions. Not great. Deshaun Watson and Dak Prescott had very similar numbers, but uh, you know I, I don't rate Dak particularly. We're coming after his job, of course. Those are the, uh, the stats for the week. 276 passing yards, I'll take that. But that is the end of this episode of Undrafted to MVP. So thank you as always for watching. I'm sorry that this is a bit out of whack with how I'm talking. I've had to redub a lot of this because uh, I didn't actually, my camera wasn't recording when I actually filmed this. So yeah, a little bit annoying. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including more undrafted to MVP, then please subscribe. And I will see you next time.